So to understand and to be able to catch love bombing before it turns into something where you fall head over heels for someone who is toxic, we're going to talk about some common phrases of love bombing and really what real love is and what it's not. So when you first meet someone and you have attraction and there is a mutual attraction and there is a mutual feeling of, wow, this person's different from other people. This person is more my person or like that connection that you feel right away. That is often limerence. That is often just basic attraction, basic animal attraction, basic connection, basic human attraction toward another person that for whatever reason you are feeling. Now, there can be real attraction, of course. There can be a real connection with another human being at first, when you first meet them, yes. But that is not love. You do not know that person. You do not know who they are or what they're about. See, the thing is a narcissist puts on charm. A narcissist is out there in a predatory way looking for people to be attracted to them. So if they have an interest in you for whatever reason, they're not just going to meet you as they are. They are wearing a mask, okay? They are pretending. They are excited about the feelings that they have for this person, you, who they do not know and who does not know the toxic things that they do. So when you don't know the toxic things that someone does, of course you're excited about them, of course you're interested in them, of course you're going to treat them like they're like anyone else, right? Like they're amazing. That's what the narcissist wants, you see. It's not a real connection. You don't know this person yet. You haven't been through things with this person. You haven't seen them in multiple situations and experienced what life is like with them. So don't confuse this beginning early excitement, limerence, you know, the feelings of connection for someone you don't know with love. All right. Love comes over time. Love grows from connection and shared empathy, shared experiences of giving and receiving from and to the other person. People show up in relationships, okay? People who truly love are people who show up in relationships and treat one another with respect and care, all right? They listen to one another, they hear one another. There are videos on this channel of what healthy relationships look like. I will link those at the end of this video. So here's the thing. If someone is love bombing you, there might be some common phrases that you hear. One big one, when you're online, okay, you guys, when you are online dating, when you are online meeting anyone, even if it is random through a support group or French, you don't know that person, okay? They can say anything they want to convince you that they are what they want you to believe they are, all right? If someone is greeting you on a dating site, they have never met you, they don't know you, and they're like, good morning, beautiful, good morning, handsome, oh my gosh, blah, 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 that's a big old red flag. Just stop right there. You don't know me. You don't know that I'm beautiful and you don't know what you think about me, right? Like, so just stop right there. They don't know you. They don't know that they believe that you're a beautiful person. They don't know anything about you. They're trying to schmooze you. So here's some things you might hear in real life or online. You are my soulmate. Okay, maybe, but what does that mean? Does that mean I have to stay with you forever? No, what that means is there's a connection, okay? What that means is there is potentially something there that's deeper. Potentially, potentially. How do you know someone is your soulmate? Okay, that's great if you've been with someone long enough to really feel the connection and to really feel that, you know, your life's paths line up, but not when you just meet, okay? It, it may feel like that and that may be fine and it may be okay to say, but that in combination with a whole lot of other love bombing phrases, look out. I have never met anyone in my life quite like you, right? I'm saying it kind of silly, but really, I've never met anyone like you. You're amazing. You are like no one I've ever met. People don't get me and you get me. Do you see what that's doing? It's creating an instant bond. It's creating an instant connection. Start to see that as a little bit interesting, okay? Because how do you know? You don't know this person. You know what? We met because of fate. It's fate we were meant to be together. Well, again, you don't know this person, right? I have never felt like this before. When this comes from anyone over the age of 35, yeah, 
that's a big old question. That's a big old red flag. I have never met anyone. I, f I have never felt like this before in my life. I've never felt like this with anyone. Okay, and sometimes a narcissist will groom you to pull you into isolation really fast. They would love bomb you by saying things like, it's you and me, you and me together, we don't need anyone else. You're my only friend, you're my only close connection, you're the only person I can trust. Am I that for you? So what they're trying to do here is get you to feel something. The thing about love bombing is it's all to get you to feel something. It's manipulating you to feel beyond what you already feel because it's giving you something. It's filling you up with something you probably need, something that's probably been missing, something that other people have taken from you. All right. And they're pouring it out towards you so that you feel something. That feeling creates a reaction in you that makes you feel like you love them, like them a lot, or like they're right for you when you don't know them. So, and then the last thing I'm gonna say here is you are so beautiful. You're so amazing. Oh my gosh, you are the best. You are the most beautiful person in the room. You're the most handsome person in the room. You, you know what I'm talking about? The over the top compliments. Over the top, never ceasing, never ending compliments gift giving, overly giving, overly, just anything to pull you toward them so that you believe that's how it will always be with this person. Love bombing is not real, okay? Love bombing is manipulation. Learn to see it, learn to question it, okay? And learn when, like everyone can do it a little bit. You're excited, okay? You meet someone, you, you might do a little bit of this, okay? It's the excessiveness of the way a narcissist does it. And it's the way it manipulates you to feel something prematurely for that person. So as always, just letting you know, there is information in the main description of every video for coaching, group coaching, or peer support if it's needed. And check out the video that I've linked next.